And the investigation continues into the deadly mosque attacks in New Zealand as police say the man accused of killing 50 people, you see him right there, his face blurred by authorities. They say he may have had help even though he did carry the massacre out himself. And as ABC's Elizabeth Hur reports, New Zealand's Prime Minister promising to take quick action on gun control. New Zealand still in mourning and investigators still searching for answers. Everyone is grieving and I'm grieving with them, um, but I also have a very important job to do. This as the country's prime minister is wasting no time vowing to take action. What we're looking here is for a effective gun law that will make a difference. So far, authorities holding this Australian man responsible for murder, his face blurred as local law requires. Officials claim the suspect is a self-proclaimed racist who hates immigrants and used five guns when he opened fire inside two mosques. And according to one New Zealand gun shop owner, the suspect legally bought ammunition and multiple guns from him using a police verified online process, though the owner insists none of the guns he sold were used in the attacks. We detected nothing extraordinary about the license holder. The country now focused on healing as the faces of the victims, including this three-year-old boy, emerge and families of the survivors like this toddler share stories of heroism. The child's American mother posting that her husband shielded our son during the attack. The father was shot multiple times. Both survived. Hug your family. Hug your friends. You just don't know when, when you might not see them again. The prime minister says the goal is to announce gun law reforms there within the next 10 days. And now there are reports that gun shops saw a spike in sales this past weekend with people worried their gun rights could soon be taken away. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York.